welcome. Uh, I don't know what to say. You were just spectacular in this. And my oh, goodness, I can't even, the pressure that must have been on your big <laughs> shoulders, Chris, to play, my God, you know, the, yeah. a God of thunder. Come Absolutely. on, seriously. Yeah, look, walking into it with, you know, the as a pre-existing fan base of the comic books of 40, 50 years. There's also, you know, the, it's a big Marvel franchise and the people involved. It was, uh, yeah, it was an intimidating thing to walk into, but um, ended up being one of the best times I've had, you know, I think because of the excitement of actually doing those things and taking on that challenge sort of became my focus. But also the support I had from the, you know, the other actors and it was... Uh, it was just incredible and a great time. Yeah, and what was it like the very first time you saw yourself in that costume after you busted through it because <laughs> you got so big? At one point, yeah, we had to make a few adjustments. But um, <laughs> no, you know, until that point, I, I didn't feel like, I mean, I'd sort of had ideas about the character, but then you put that costume on, it sells such an image. I thought, okay, now I feel like the character. And up until then, you were convincing yourself and everyone else that you could pull it off. But, was it hard training for this one? Uh, it was, yeah. I had to put on a, a you know, a bit of muscle. I'd read the comics and noticed the guy was rather large, so I had to you know, try and head in that direction. Um, and then the, uh, with the fight sequences we sort of developed and um, and then on the character, you know, the research with the comics and yeah. sort of Norse mythology in there as well. That's right, there's a lot of history there. Yeah, there is, yeah. It was great reading that stuff, it, especially the Norse mythology, you know, very fatalistic sort of people, the Vikings, and, and then, you know, that dictated their sort of fearlessness in battle and, and their everything, the belief that everything was preordained and yeah. uh, their path was set. So Thor, I think, you know, part of his reason for his sort of drive into things with no doubt of what he's doing. It has to do with that. You know, there's a fearlessness to it. Yeah. Now, I would think for you, a uh, young actor, up and coming, and you are a master class on set. Okay, let's just start with Anthony Hopkins, <laughs> your father. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was a huge education. I couldn't have asked for a better, you know, a better experience. Um, uh, you know, standing opposite him, especially in this, the banishment scene, which was our big heated scene, uh, and having you know him sort of throw those things at me and, and watch him work was just incredible. Yeah. It was a big sort of, you know, call the parents back home after that scene and go, oh my God, you're not going to believe this. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> and then Kenneth Branagh, who, of course, you know, brings his amazing Shakespearean background yeah, to this. Yeah. And this is so Shakespearean, what's is, going on here. Yeah, there's a real Shakespearean sort of old English tone to it. and. Uh, you know, Ken guarantees there's a character-driven story and it was all about exploring different avenues and, uh, you know, a very freeing process in that sense because we weren't locking into one version. It was about keeping our options open and doing different things. Yeah. Um, it was great. Amazing. Wow. Um, I'm wondering for you, was there an actor or a movie that you watched even growing up that inspired you to become an actor? Yeah, a lot of different things. You know, films, sort of fantasy films as a kid, like sort of Never Ending Story and... Uh, you know, Labyrinth and, and Princess Bride, and, and without being conscious of wanting to be an actor, they kind of instilled that sense of adventure into me. Um, the, I mean, I loved It's a Wonderful Life, Jimmy Stewart, you know, that, that was a great film. Um, and then the older I got, it was uh, just sort of storytelling in general, whether it be books or films that I admired, and, and then once I sort of tried acting, I just loved it. Yeah. You know, and, and everything else I was doing kind of fell by the wayside, and that became my... My, my, you know, my focus. Yeah. Now, a lot of people don't know this about you, but you were on Dancing with the Stars in Australia, were you was. not? Yeah, yeah, I was. What was that experience like? That was, uh, it was good fun. I wasn't very good, but uh, <laughs> you know, I had a good laugh at myself and the, the, the process. Um, <laughs> I won't be doing it again. I was going to say, we're not going to see you in the North American version? <laughs> you Thor, you Thor dancing? You I think that would yeah. be awesome. We should have. We should have incorporated a little Thor you know, a ballet routine or something. That we'll see that in the Adventures then. Spot. Maybe you can work we that could, in there. We could, we could. I don't know if I'd still be, uh, you know, cast. They might sort of recast me if I attempted that, but <laughs> I'll throw it out there. I'll give it a shot. I don't think you're, I think you've got this one locked down, my friend. You were fantastic in this, really. Thank Best you. of luck with everything. Thank and you very hope much. to see you again soon. Thank, Thank you. you. You too. Nice talking Thanks to you. Thanks, Chris.